uh, CVE client. So also freely available on GitHub. Uh, this one is authored by uh, my colleague, former colleague VJ, also involved in the CVE program. This takes a much more minimalist approach, as we will see. So I'm going to log in here. Uh, you know, similar interface. Oops. Going to copy and paste a bit. I'm logging into test. I'm going to just try this really quickly and see if this breaks. Yep. So I'm pretty sure that this is indeed case sensitive. Sure is. Okay. So uh, I have now authenticated to the service. And you can see here, um, by default, I'm seeing a published well, a whole list of CVE IDs from my CNA, including this one that we just recently published. Uh, I can click through and see some of the details on it. I can see the actual um, CVE in a little table here, the data in a table. Um, Shandon mentioned this earlier, Volnagram added the sort of a text HTML uh, more format happy version of the description. Again, the CVSF's got put in here by Volnagram, but that's you know, perfectly fine. That's where that came from. I can, I think, show the full, oops, I'm gonna adjust my screen size a minute here. Oh, view JSON, sorry. I can see the raw JSON if I wanna see what's going on. Uh, and I'm gonna look at my user list. So yep, that looks like the right amount of users. Uh, I can see things about Bob. Bob is active. Um, and look in the JSON here for a minute. Someone had asked about OA uh, earlier. Active role being empty indicates this person is not an administrator. And uh, Owen is an administrator, as it shows admin there. And the JSON is going to show admin. So. This is the proper programmatic way to decide if you are an admin or not. Um, you can also try to do admin activities and get denied, and that'll, that'll tell you as well. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to reserve an ID, just one. And let's see where my list is. Back to CVE. This looks like the new one. I'm going to edit and publish. There's a small interface here uh, to um, you know, do your description, write down your affected products, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, additional JSON fields. Oh yeah, sorry. You can do. Uh, I guess the I guess the way this is handled is, if you want to do more, um, figure out how to copy and paste some proper JSON into this field. So uh, we're going to call that not part of the minimalist approach. Uh, I believe I can go to JSON and do a quick edit here. So bear with me while I go grab my. Minimalist CVE client JSON. And I'm going to paste that in. And it has filled out the information here back in the table UI. And I'm going to click the button, see what happens. All right, it is now published. And I should be able to confirm that. Uh, I think it was 93. So, yep, here is again the test. This is the test API endpoint. This is the free uh, endpoint, no authentication required. And this shows the thing that I just published. So the record's here, the details are here. It has all worked. Um, I, I'm gonna ask you to, for time purposes to take it, take it on faith, but uh, I can add users here. Um, I can, there's a note, and I don't know the implementation detail, but the API key that I entered earlier is encrypted locally in the browser uh, through some special magic that BJ figured out. Uh, I don't know why I'd want to turn that off, but I believe you're able to. Uh, I can look at my organization. So this is my UUID. This is sometimes necessary. Um, if you are rolling your own client, you're going to need you're going to need this as part of your JSON. Uh, some of the clients don't seem to need this. I have not yet figured out if UUID is required as part of um, uh, certain submissions or not when you're, when you're sending in uh, JSON data. 
Uh, let me look here. I'm at users and yeah. All right.